What's going on my fellow troops? My name is Ovo and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'm going to actually be bringing you guys the best Chimera Assault Rifle class in Modern Warfare 2. I have been using this quite a bit and I have to say this is like really really fun to use. It's probably not one of the best assault rifles if I'm going to be real with you. I'm not going to sell you some BS just so that you'll you know think oh best assault rifle in the game because it's definitely not the best in the game but you can do some really cool stuff with this gun. You can definitely get its recoil down very, very much, if that makes sense, very, very much. You know, you can really lower that shit, and you can do a lot to this gun. And it also boasts, you know, a very quick ADS speed with this class. Uh, uh, you know, the most ammo possible for the class, at, at least, anyway. And it's just very, very fun to use. It's just quick and light, and it's just a lot of fun to use. So, now, let's just hop straight in. Let's not blabber any longer. So, here is the Chimera class. I don't know if I'm going to run Orion for this video, if I'll just switch it to polyatomic. I think I'll just stick with Orion for today's video. What the fuck is going on with that screen? Okay, well, it appears that it's showing the gun the wrong way around. That's cool. Uh, nice one, Modern Warfare 2. Very, very cool. <laughs> okay, so first we're running the muzzle. We're running the Polifier S, and uh, you can see it doesn't actually show you because the thing's kind of bugged, but it's basically what it does is it helps with the bullet velocity, helps with stability of the actual aiming, and it just sort of helps to bring the recoil under control. So that's what we've done for the muzzle. Um, then we're running the barrel. For the barrel, we've done the 10 SA Phoenix. Helps with damage range, bullet velocity, hit fire accuracy, and recoil control. This is a must on this class, considering you know we're trying to prioritize recoil control quite a lot for this class. So that is definitely one of the main things you're going to need on. If you do not have this attachment on, it's going to have some issues. So you're definitely going to need to use that. Then we're running the 45 round mag. It's the most ammo possible for the gun, because the 30 rounds is what you have by default or default. And it's not very much. And 20 rounds, who the fuck's using that. So we want 45 round. That is the best we can really get on this class. And we're running the grip. For the rear grip, we're running the Bruin Flash Grip. It's just really useful for furthering the ADS speed and just helping with the sprint to fire speed as well, which is going to be useful in close combat, of course. And finally, we're running the TRX 56 stock. That is a must as well on this class. Helps with the recoil and stability. So now let's get into the tuning. For the stock, I've actually tuned it so it's a minus 2.45 towards ADS speed. And we've done a minus 0.70 towards aim walking speed. This is just going to help overall mobility because if you do notice with this class when you stick on a bunch of recoil preferred attachments it's going to start taking a hit to mobility and the handling so this, that's why we're really trying to bring them back up. And here for the grip, the rear grip I should be to be more precise. The rear grip we've actually done some tuning for that as well so we've got a minus 0.71 towards ADS speed and we have done a minus 0.19 uh, towards the sprint to fire speed as well. So that's what we've done for the rear grip. Uh, for the muzzle, we've done a minus 0.77 towards the ADS speed, and we've done a plus 0.55 towards bullet velocity, because we also really want to make sure that this gun is having as much range as possible. We don't want the bullets falling off at medium range. We want it to fall off as far away as possible, so we can just really prioritize long range as well as medium and short range. And finally, for the barrel, we've tuned that, and we've got a minus 0.10 towards aim walking speed, and a minus 0.10 towards ADS speed as well, just to further improve that ADS speed and bring it down so it's quicker. And uh, so yeah, that is the uh, class. I am obviously, as you can see, running Orion for today's video because it is mwah, sexy, sexy camo. So yeah, let's get to it and um, I'll catch you in the gameplay. What the fuck is that microphone? What the fuck? Did you guys, you guys could hear that, right? Yeah, you can hear that. Okay, that is really bad. What? Who even is that? Is that busy? Oh, it's busy, yeah. Okay, he's muted. That is fucking awful, dude. That was absolute AIDS. I don't know whose microphone is even capable of doing that. What Like, what did he put in his microphone? Did he spill, like, all of his orange juice on it or something? Or, like, I don't know, maybe he nutted in his own microphone. I, I'm, I'm just trying to think what actually makes that sound like that bad. That is completely unusable. I bet he can't even speak to people through the game chat because it's just, like, overpowering his voice. Look at that recoil control! Hell yeah, baby! Hell yeah!
Oh, I didn't- I never even- I never even noticed that small detail, the thunder. I never actually heard it. That's cool. Player's Lighthouse is actually a really nice map, but I also have a very controversial opinion that maybe some people might not agree with. I actually think that Black Gold is a good map. Um, a lot of people despise the night vision maps, and I understand why, because people are like, you can't see anything, right? And it's, like, really annoying to play on. But I love the- I love the night vision map, personally. I'm a big fan of them. I think they're very immersive. They, they kind of add to that feeling that you get in the campaign, it's like you, you're playing really tactically, you know, like, wing! You know, you pull down the little night vision goggles and it's like you've got your gun sideways and you're just like clearing out a building. That's what it feels like. It really feels like an operation rather than just a multiplayer match. So I really like the, the night vision maps, personally. I know a lot of people don't, but that's just my opinion. I, I think Black Gold and Player's Lighthouse are both very good maps and I'm really looking forward to see the other map that they bring in and whatever other maps they might bring in as well because, you know, I really want to see more night vision maps, personally. I wasn't like, obviously in Modern Warfare 2019, it wasn't very often that you got night vision maps. It would have probably been on like, you know, evicted modes or other stuff like that. But personally, I loved whenever I did get like Azur Cave on night vision or if I got it on like, what was the other one? I can't even remember the name of it. It was that weird one that was, I think it's based in the UK and it's, it's the one with that area that I did, you know, infected glitch spots for, I think, where you could get up onto a top building. I can't even remember. But you know, you probably know which one I'm on about. One of my favorite maps though in 2019 was probably Rust just because it's just, I don't know why. There's something so nice about that map. Like the fact that it's sunny, you've got the cool, you know, tower in the middle, which you can climb up, and then there's, like, just the layout of it is so cool. I want to see Rust return in this game. If Rust doesn't return, I am going to complain. I'm going to file a complaint to Activision for not adding it back. I want Rust in this game so badly. Like, I just want to see Rust. I don't care about any other map. Just bring Rust back, and I am happy. I am satisfied. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure they probably will. Maybe in, uh, you know, maybe, maybe it might be a surprise return in, like, mid-season, season three, maybe. They might bring it in season for, but I'm really hoping we see Rust return because I loved that map. I think it came to Modern Warfare 2019 in Season 3 if I'm not wrong, or maybe Season 2. I think it was probably Season 2. I don't think it was there off, off base, you know. I think I think they did add it, like, mid-season or something like that. They added it in the season update. But, yeah, I do want to see Rust return, for sure. Hey, up. <laughs> Bro, he's called T-Simp93. Imagine being called T-Simp. Like, you, you simping over T? You British? British? What does T stand for? Terrific? You're a terrific simp? I don't know any simps that are terrific. Or terrible. Maybe that's what it is. Terrible simp. He's down bad terribly. Oh my god! How did I win that gunfight, bro? I should have died there. I was jumping up and down like an absolute lunatic, just trying to spray my gun and reload it, and he still lost the gunfight. That is, that is some terrible play on that man's behalf. Holy shit. Oh god. Yeah, it's him again. Yeah, they're not they're not very good, are they? But I, I'm loving the the token, the trophy, the trophy. Sorry, the trophy event. I'm really liking it. It's so satisfying. Just like you know, what are you doing up there? And how did you miss your shot? Just hit your shots, girl. I'm sorry if the camera's like really trying to focus on the window. It's it's becoming more of a problem now because obviously it's light outside and whatnot. Unless I film at night, there's nothing I can actually do to stop that from focusing on the on the curtain. I've got the curtain closed, by the way. It looks like it's open, but that's the light. Somehow the camera is picking up the light through the actual curtain. I don't know like how that's even possible, but that it you know it's it's kind of crazy. It's kind of wacky. It looks like someone actually. I think I've said this before in a video. It looks like someone threw a flashbang outside of my window for a map that's not that big. It's very hard to find people quickly, isn't it? That's what I'm noticing. Oh, another one. That hit fire control is actually really good as well. Holy crap. Hell yeah. Oh my god. I am being surrounded. How is that fair? What the what the hell was that, dude? Did he did he just like walk up behind me and sucker punch me and then just stare at my body? What a weirdo, dude. I think this is the person as well. Look, they just stopped behind the door. What was that? Is this guy even real? Is he an AI? I think I'm playing with AIs, guys. What the hell are these people doing? Soccermen1, Master Joel999. I mean, and you had the other guy I just read out before. Like, what was he? T-Simp? What? What are these usernames, bro? Yeah, these guys are absolute cheeks. I, I don't understand. I don't understand how my matchmaking got this bad because I am actually pretty sweaty. 
Look, look at them. They're all wearing, like, the same skins as well. That is absolutely magnificent. What can I say? What a pleasure it is to play against the rookies. I mean, I'm a sweat, and I have not taken many breaks at all since I last played. So I do not understand what's going on with the skill-based matchmaking and why these guys are absolute cheeks. But hey, who cares, right? I mean, you watch all these fucking YouTubers who, who are dropping, like, two, three nukes in a video. <coughs> Korean Savage. And you can clearly see that their gameplay is reverse boosted. Like, I'm not trying to be that guy to call people out. I mean, it doesn't really matter. They wouldn't see this video anyway. I mean, if they do, sorry, I have no hatred towards you, Korean Savage. I'm sure you're very good at card. No reverse boosting at all. And it's not... The thing is, I keep saying him as, as an example because he's the other one that actually comes to mind. But I'm pretty sure a lot of these YouTubers are reverse boosting. Like, a lot of them. You know those cliche class setup YouTubers who are like, every video's got asterisks in the title? No. New, no recoil epic class must watch and they've got like that Ali A thumbnail reactions on them. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much me with most of my videos with the Allier looking reactions on the thumbnails. <laughs> but I'm, I've kind of just accepted that if you want to get in on the views, you just have to kind of do what everyone else is doing. It's just something you have to accept at this point. But in terms of the class setups, I don't put my face in the thumbnail and I don't overpower it with all these asterisks and bold text and, you know, all that sort of shit. I don't do that. I just think that's kind of ridiculous. But hey, I mean, I, I don't reverse boost at least. I, I played an authentic match there. We got 21 kills to eight deaths. That is really good. You know, <laughs> I mean, I wish it was more than that, but it's a uh, player's lighthouse. It's not shipment 24 seven. So I could have played shipment, but I just cho chose not to because personally, because it just, it creates too much repetition with the content. I want to bring different content to look at different maps. And I also wish I could bring you good lighting, but unfortunately we, we just have what we have. So I mean, it, it looks, it looks a bit bad right now. It looks like I'm, it literally looks like I'm just, I've got a flashbang outside my room. I don't know what to say, but that, that was good. Anyway, so you guys check Check out the class. Let me know, you know, what you think of the class down below. And uh, yeah, but that is really all I have to say. So thank you everyone for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye guys.